Hello there, everyone! My name is Oversoul, this is Oversoul Gaming! And welcome back to Let's Replay Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Alrighty then, Ian. And now we're going to... Actually, let me check my command deck real quick, because I've actually been doing some leveling up. Look at me, I'm level 33! <gasps> now, if you look... You'll see that I've done some things and some stuff, and I've gotten some abilities and such. Look at that magic hour and seek your mind. I got blitz now. Anyways, I'm just kind of fucking around with shit for the minute, for the moment. I know that we're about to get some abilities here in Neverland out of treasure chests that are gonna like really tip the scale in terms of uh, Aqua's magic abilities. So this shit's about to get motherfucking real. Ah, there it is. The furries in training Over again. There. I'm gonna be the leader! Oh. Mm -hmm. We're so close. Too bad, man. It's tough <coughs> break. <coughs> Excuse me. No buts. You know the rules. <laughs> the first one to find and claim the treasure map gets to be the leader. And that's you. Leader? But she doesn't of live the here. Uh, then again, though, Keyblade wielders are prone to follow the rules of the every world that they visit. That's what they're what supposed do to mean? do, you see. I never said girls can't be part of the gang. Come on, Tink. The more the merrier. I swear to God, every time sorry, uh, uh, Peter Pan meets a girl, Tinkerbell gets all jealous. Yeah, Tink, he's not gonna sleep with you, okay? Too You're bad. like a fourth of his size. Rules are rules. He would kill you. I guess we'll just have to call off the I'm not trying to be dirty, I'm just saying, like, logically, and because science, he would literally kill All right. her. You win. I'll join you for one expedition. Whoopee! Aqua, as as are tell, you dead serious here? here? Are you, are you, are you, are you, are, are you serious? We'll are you fucking with me? Come on, let's go! You Wait straight up are worried about Terra and Ven. And you, you, you're I'm like, Peter man, the you should really be Peter making Bell. sure that Terra hasn't are... succumbed to the darkness and that Ventus Aqua. actually went home. But no, so here you are Aqua. playing fucking treasure hunt huh? with, nah. with this random stop, guy and Lacoon. these kids. Oh, and okay. I understand, like, you're not questioning why dude can fly. You're not questioning why this, uh, why this, uh, you know, how fucking old is Peter Pan now that I think about it? He's not a grown-ass man, that's for sure, because he's like, I'll stay young forever, but young, how, like, how young exactly? What is he, like, 16, 15? Is he, like, Sora and Riku's age, kind of? He seemed a little bit older than them, honestly. Like an older kid, like the big brother to the younger dude. Like, you know when you see those high school movies? Or, sorry, when you see those movies where the middle school kids are the heroes, and, like, their big brother is kind of, uh... He's not, like, fully adult, but he acts cool like he is one anyways. I don't know. They haven't fully figured it out, I guess. I'm going to assume that Peter Pan is probably, like, 17 or some shit. You know, like, he probably stopped himself from growing right before hitting adulthood. Or he could just be ageless, I don't know. Anything is possible in the land of crazy. This isn't the way to the spot on the map. Well, how was I supposed to know? I didn't see the fucking map my damn self. But anyways, my whole point in this was, like, I love how it's... I love how, um... Damn, that actually reached him in the final. I was gonna say though, I love how Aqua's on an important mission, you know, given to her by her master, and she decides, you know what? I've got time for a treasure hunt with these random ass people I just met. Why the fuck not? Okay. Good one. Way to do your job, Aqua. Eh. Give me the fucking thing! 
Ugh, I need the aerial dodge ability that we get here first, I guess. It's okay, we'll get it in uno momento. He's part of story, and it actually is, yeah. Open. Open. Thank you. Look at all these things I could buy from him now. Because all the shit I've unlocked. I do have a bunch of two-slot abilities now. I'm just trying to level some stuff up in order to make other stuff, you see. He's part of McGill. Because I ended up looking up the ultimate commands, and actually, I don't actually know what the hell I'm doing. I think I wanted Blitz for something. Oh yeah, I wanted to make Ars Arcanum. I can't remember what I mixed with it, though. Blitz and something. Okay, the reason I have not mixed Fission Fire Aga and Crawling Fire to make Mega Flare yet is because I'm actually going to mix Fission Fire Aga with Fire Aga Burst, which we get from a treasure chest here, because it will make an even better ability called Raging Storm, where Aqua cloaks herself in, or surrounds herself with pillars of fire and just, like, decimates the fuck out of everybody. It's really cool. You might have saw the same ability if you watched my uh, Chain of Memories. Um, even though I only did the cutscenes of that, at the beginning of each one I threw in a little gameplay for Sora and then a little gameplay for Riku. Um, and in the gameplay for Sora, I believe, you got to see that same ability. No doubt, no doubt, gonna shout it out! Oh! oh! Sorry, that was me stretching. <coughs> oh man, I am in a mood today. A good, a I good one. You now, Peter Pan. Today's the day I shall be rid of you forever. <laughs> I will teach you right to now, rapes me. We're on an expedition. Can't I show you up some other day? You'll show me up now. <laughs> he, said, he said, "You'll show me up now." Ah, oh, that's just Captain okay. Hook. He's a two-bit pirate codfish. I'll cleave you into two bits, boy! That's <laughs> where this dude... Oh, again with the cannons? Oh, that was the captain's signal! Fire! Who are you talking to? Are, there, are we supposed to believe that there's more people on that ship? Huh? I gotta tell you... We're sitting ducks out here! Run! I sure as hell hope that since Kingdom Hearts 3 is gonna be on newer systems, that it can, uh, that they can render more NPCs in the worlds, because, like, as it stands right now, they really leave a lot to the imagination when it comes to some of these. Let's get Experiment 626 for that double C beat! One way to take care of it, right? Oh, that's the elixir. There's Fire Aga Burst. I knew it was over here somewhere. Hells to the yeah. Shit, I forgot what I was supposed to mix it with to make ours Arcanum now. Thought it was Aerial Slam or something like that. Ah, screw it. Let's just see what this makes. Aqua's gonna have enough powerful magic abilities. If we can go without ours, Arcanum that time, it does, this time it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. Oh, nope, just another magic hour. Okay, well, whatever. 
Look at that. We got Sonic Blade. We got Freeze Raid. Uh, we got the. We got we got stuff. We got abilities for days. Okay, but we're gonna go with Ice Barrage. And I think all I will keep all is Sonic Blade. And Kiraga? No, Fish and Fireaga, yeah. Or Fireaga Burst, my bad. Oh, it's a two two thing, okay. Seems about right. Okay. Oh, that'll do for now. By the way, those faster swims, um... I remember somebody pointed out that, uh, in Terra's playthrough that he swam, like, faster than Sora, and Sora grew up on an island. It's true, well, it's true that they do swim faster normally, as it is. Um, it's also true that if you mash circle while you're swimming, it makes them swim a lot faster. So that's what that is, too. I don't believe I can go this way as her. Nope. Okay. That's right. Aqua gets access to an area that I don't think the other characters get to go to. Because the other characters can go here, and there's the treasure chests and shit over here um, at the Rainbow Falls. Oh, if you think that's cool, you haven't seen shit yet. Just wait till we get Time Splicer, which is in a fucking treasure chest here. It is one of the most OP abilities in the entire game, and it's in a treasure chest. Like, it makes the final boss battle super, oh, like, a lot easier. And Time Splicer is basically an ability, and this is why it's so cool. It's basically cheating the system. Basically, Aqua casts stop magic on all of the nearby enemies, and then teleports all over the arena doing damage to each of them in turn. Full-on anime style. And then, once the time starts resuming, they all take the damage that was, excuse me, given to them. Fire! It's one of the best things. This is why Aqua is the best. She gets the best and most overpowered abilities because a lot of them are based on magic. Terra and Ventus can't pull this shit off. For one thing... They haven't earned the title of Keyblade Master, not properly, anyways. Well, I guess, I mean, Terra was just given to him by Zayn Hoy, but is that, does, does it really count? I mean, technically it does, but does it really? You know. Anyways, though. This is what happened. This is what I was telling you, how Aqua was weak as shit in the beginning of her story, but then, now that we're nearing the end, she's like, STRONG MAGE! It's kind of like in Final Fantasy games sometimes, too. Usually the mage is one of the weakest party members in the beginning of any story it? of I'm any of the games. The but then, the like, end. when you get closer to the end game, mages become fucking OP. Oh, relax. A little pixie dust and we'll be there in a jiffy. <laughs> <laughs> pixie dust, he says. Oh, I can always before. not... Uh, I can never not laugh at saw? that because... Hey, this whole thing, it's just, towers. it's drugs. It, it has to be. It's Don't all drugs. Don't you think you're asking a bit much of them? This is between me and them, Aqua. Damn. Men, only the bravest of he the said, bravest can claim that mind your own business. Yeah, Fuck. We know. Excuse you, Take sir, you but would? you're the one that invited her on this cockamamie bullshit anyways. Here we go. We're not really gonna fly like that in the same fashion. Aqua more or less gets to jump on these little balls of pixie dust and then they kind of like bounce her up higher. It's stupid, but fun. 
stupid but fun. Just like everything on Adult Swim. Well, almost everything. Some of it's just stupid. Personally, I'm not a fan of the live action stuff so much. I'm more about the, the cartoons, the comedy cartoons. Like, Rick and Morty. Oh, shit. I miss Aqua Teen. That was one of my favorites. They ended it, though, like they ended, ended it. It didn't just get canceled, like they gave it a final episode and everything. And it ended just the way you'd probably expect it to. So graceful. Yeah, see, Terra and Ventus don't get access to this area because they don't have... Because white man can't jump. <laughs> But apparently, white girl can. If we jump down there, we will fall back down to the previous level, just like uh, just like the Hallerbrüstin in the first Kingdom Hearts. So, we not do that. Take that! Fire! Man, it's so cool, cool. Yeah! Hiyo Funtaka! Oh, -ho, you thought you were gonna make me fall, but I said nay to that. Look at that, I can summon ice in the middle of the air. Doesn't even have to come out of the ground. Because that's how goddamn cool I am! Okay. Hey, have a... Okay. There it is! <laughs> now you see why we went all the way up here. <gasps> Shit! This is a game changer. Seeker mine can go away, cause I don't need it anymore. And our command deck won't level up any further, so we're gonna have to make some seeker faces. Just so you knew. So we're gonna replace Magic Hour with Time Splicer because they're basically the same thing except Time Splicer is better. Oh hell yeah. And Collision Magnet. Sure, why not? Let's, let's have that for now. Okali Doken! Artichokin! Now we fall. Whee! Oh shit! <sighs> okay. Oh my god, I wish I hadn't done that. I get like this because I don't do well with heights, for real. Um, and, uh, except for some reason, roller coasters are fine. I mean, the climb is fucking terrible, but, uh, I like them otherwise, besides. But anyways, so, in video games, when characters start dropping really fast from a really high area, I get, like, this overwhelming sense of vertigo, and it, oh, it always screws with me. Like, my heart, like, jumps in it, up into my throat, and then down to my asshole, and then back up to where it belongs. So, oh, so that's what just happened. So, whenever I played Infamous, for example, whenever you jump off the buildings, I always had to like look away or like turn the camera so I couldn't see the ground, because uh, otherwise it would screw with me. Oh, shit. There we go. In this next area, I'm gonna show you Time Splicer. Oh, here it is. Wait. Okay, there we go. Let's do it now. And as we level it up, it will get longer and longer. So it'll get, it, it'll be like better. So yeah, we just destroyed everything in a matter of seconds. Aqua's that mage now, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn. Grand Court Wizard. Like, 
fuck Donald. I want Aqua in my party. You know what I'm saying? And we just did a whole big circle. Right back to where we fucking started. Well, that was as pointless as ever. Hey, aren't we back where we started? Yep. You mean we went all the way around Neverland for nothing? Well, you conquered all sorts of obstacles to get here. And to me, that's certainly No, shut nothing. up. Fuck you. It was a waste of time. I don't give a you shit know, about your stupid I metaphor. You, wrong. you were just looking out for them back there. Being a good leader. No, he was being yeah, an asshole. You were right to intervene. You're too They're children. Mm -hmm. be they should be back home with their parents. Now. It's Hook. Hey, stupid ass, guess what? All your treasure's the gone. Treasure. There's nothing in there. Just a bunch Aye, of wooden swords. <laughs> he found Captain Hook's Captain porn stash. Oh my! Me. Captain! I I didn't see a thing! I swear! Fish. It's all junk! What do you mean, junk? Those are our treasures, Hook! But what did you do with my treasure? Oh, we lost that at all! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that poor guy, his whole day time. just got fucked. Mm. Oh, where's my treasure, though? Oh, we lost it. So. Oops. <laughs> you stupid little motherfuckers! <laughs> Not you again! No, get away from me! Smee! Do something! Smee! Wait! Captain! <laughs> <laughs> Aqua looked like she was struggling to actually laugh about that. She was like, oh, haha, that's kind of funny, I guess. Is this? Oh, Ventus left that here. I guess it's a special keepsake or something. But don't worry about him. He said he would be all right without it. And then he promised to visit us again with even better treasures. Maybe enough He's to He's not going to keep that promise. Chests. Unless you count when Sora visited you. I mean, because technically Ven was with him. Ven? He was here. You know, because his heart and all. And someone else. What's the matter? I wonder if Ventus residing in Sora's heart currently can, has, like, the ability to experience everything that's going on with Sora in the same way that Roxas does. Oh, double flight, they call it. They call it double flight, but in all complete honesty, it's called, uh, it's Ariel Dodge from the First Kingdom Hearts. Anyways, you might not have heard it because I was, uh, talking, but... Ooh. But Aqua just mentioned that she senses darkness over here, over by the Indian camp. So we're going to have to go see what that's all about. I wonder who it could be. Oop. All right, let's go. No time to be wasting. Seriously, though, that whole just going around Neverland thing like that it had to have been... I mean, Aqua gets here after everything went to shit beforehand, but... She, as you can see, she was the la she's the last one here. I'm hanging out with the kitties. Vanitas. But, um... Shit, I forgot where I was going with that now. I forgot what I just said. How'd you get that? Ugh. I think that kid's outgrown such a childish toy. If you ask my opinion. God, what a fucking brick. <laughs> Just like I've outgrown my need for you. He's for real now. You freak! Damn! She like really she really went hardcore for that. Like calling someone a freak as polite as Aqua is, calling someone a freak is like hardcore for her. 
It's like the one friend I have who doesn't curse. If they start calling people things like that, that's how you can tell when they're actually pissed. <laughs> No, you suffer, bitch. Gotcha. Too slow. Go. Darkness, wait. Freeze. Too slow. Gotcha. Suffer. Suffer. I'm gonna use that Mickey Mouse to help me out. I thought I healed. Oh, I did. Okay. Oh, that's not gonna work on him. Go. Haha, <laughs> dumbass. Pathetic. Come on. Bitch. Man, I love when I absolutely own boss battles like that. It makes me feel like such a badass. I get legit pissed when I do bad in Kingdom Hearts because I'm normally so good at it. Even more so when I know people are fucking watching. You can expect me to do bad in Dream Drop Distance a couple it. of times. I'm not as used to that one. Finally finished. If only it were true. Nope, we're gonna have to fight him one more game. Just not right here. Ben. Tara. You can rest easy. Poor Aqua. She's so exhausted. Wow, that's... That's really beautiful, actually. It damn near brings a tear to your eye. Too young to know now. Quit treating me like a kid. <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at? I can't help it. You two would make the weirdest brothers. <laughs> huh? huh? <laughs> Boy, every time I swear. Every last damn one of them remembered back on that night. Do you remember how in the beginning they were like, that was the last night we would sleep beneath the same stars? That's why they keep going back to it once as each of them to really pu push the fucking point home that... I'm fine. That this is a sad story. In Look case you didn't treasure. get that by now, it's you know, okay, Peter. we've been through two Whatever sad endings already. Gee, I wonder how Aqua's will turn isn't out. Gonna break so easily. And that's our real treasure. Things didn't look I too good Ventus for her and Ventus's that's ending, did it? Behind. You must really be close. And that's something pretty special. You and Ventus and Tara, was it? One day, you should all come back. <laughs> I'd like will that. you stop saying shit like that? Really, that's like... That's like, that's like if doing a movie about the Titanic and one of the characters is like, I've got my whole life ahead of me. Oh, oh my. If only you knew your future. They're so bogus for that shit though. Like that, man, y'all should come back and visit sometime. We'll be friends forever. <laughs> nope. They're mean. The developers are mean. What's that like? The story writers are sadists. Zza.
Every last one of them gets to visit Destiny Islands as well. Ventus didn't get to meet Sora or Riku, though, but yet Ven's heart mixed with Sora's. And Terra did not get to meet Kairi. He only got to meet Sora and Riku. And as you saw, Aqua got Terra. to meet Kairi. Ven. But... I hope we're ready for the storm that's coming. See, she knew what was up. She knew hey, bad was coming. Too slow, Sora. See you at the finish line. Aqua was the only one that got to meet Sora, Kairi, and Riku. She's the only one that gets to meet all three. Another reason that I love her. As you can tell out of the three of them, Aqua's clearly the most important to the overall Kingdom Hearts line. She's getting her own fucking time. game you in 2.8. Which means that, obviously, her fate is better off than the other two, because the other two are in a stasis where they're not... There's no way you'd be able to play as them, because they're not functional at the moment, so at least she's still functional. But the problem is where she ends up after all this is, is the issue. <laughs> this boy looks so sincere. Just like Tara. And this one... He's a spitting image of Van. Kind of. <laughs> hmm? One of you might be special enough. Hey. You two mind telling me your names? I'm Sora! And, and I'm David Hasselhoff. <laughs> Riku. Someone has already passed this boy power. <laughs> I like... Wow, their personalities definitely fit. Sora was all excited to say her, his name. He's like, I'm Sora! And Riku was all like, Of course I like Riku. He's my best friend. He's like, uh, getting an early start on that darkness there, I see. And Riku is about to get lost. Or say he starts wandering down a dark path alone. Aqua's a goddamn oracle, I swear. It's like she knew everything that was gonna happen. That's your job, Sora. They're so confused. They're like, it, okay? huh? <laughs> you know, if their parents were any kind of responsible, they would walk out here and be like, What are you doing? Who are you? And why are you touching my children? But nope. They let them go play on an island in the middle of the ocean by themselves. So, fuck. One keyblade is enough for any friendship. I learned it the hard way. I wouldn't wish our lives on those children. Oh, oh my God! This is some of the most like depressing foreshadowing ever. I swear to God. I wouldn't wish our lives on those children, and then all three of them get keyblades. God damn it! Oh man, that whole scene gives me the hardcore feels. One keyblade is enough for any friendship. Well, I guess it didn't turn out that way, did it? Is that Mickey? Hey, you found Mickey. Good, because he was probably going to end up dead otherwise, just floating around in space. How this happen? Must be soon. Don't worry. I'll take you back to him. Ah, yes. So you can probably foresee what is to come here in the sooner times. So we'll be visiting Master Yen Sid's tower next. Much like we did as Terra. Or no, Terra visited it earlier. No, okay, so yeah, 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 yeah. I remember now. See, Aqua fell behind. Terra and Ventus ended up kind of shooting ahead of her, story-wise. And then Aqua fell behind, uh, especially when she did that treasure hunt at Neverland. So, by the time she visits here, Terra's already back home, murdering. Look at that, we can't go here now. And there's a good reason for that. So, 
Oh boy. But we'll find out about all of it in the next episode, because in the next episode we'll visit the Mysterious Tower, and then we will probably end up going to the Keyblade Graveyard and getting through the first little bit of that. And then, after that, it will be the last part of Aqua's story, and then after that, it will be the final episode, and I think that whole thing is just going to be done in one. So... That'll be it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Oversoul. This is Oversoul Gaming. You've been fantastic. And I will catch you, possibly on another day, definitely at another time, and likely in another video. Okay, goodbye.